Hey YouTubers, it's Nick540 here, and what you see in front of you is the 2013 Elephant and the 2014 Kookaburro, both of which were just given to me about 20 minutes ago from my girlfriend and my girlfriend's sister, who decided to get me a late birthday gift. Um, my birthday was in August, and they got me a late birthday gift, um, which was very sweet of them, um, and they each got me a one ounce coin, which is very nice. Now. Um, their experience at the coin shop was interesting. They went to Toronto Gold Bullion. They both know that that's an area, that's one of the shops that I like to go to in Toronto. Um, so they made the long trip up there, which was very sweet of them, and picked me these up. Now, when they were there, they said that they had limited selection because there was only two of the 2014 Kookaburras left, and they got one of the two, and they all got the very last uh, uh, African wildlife elephant here, and many of you have seen my previous video, I do have another one, the same one. Um, this is the most expensive coin I've ever bought, this other one, and you'll have to go back and look at the story for that. Um, and they said that the only other things they had was a couple Canadian Wildlife Series coins, Canadian Maples, um, and that's it. So, with regards to silver, she didn't ask about gold. So, that says to me that people are picking up uh, a lot during silver uh, dipping a little bit um, or at least staying steady in the in the low 20s that uh, I find is very interesting um, and Toronto Gold Bullion every time I've gone in there I've been able to pick up larger purchases um, like a big tube of American Civil Eagles or 10 ounce coins or whatever so uh, when they went up their experience was totally different so um, I know Toronto Gold Bullion is used to I've been in line waiting and people who buy who wait in that line usually buy quite a bit um, they don't just go in and buy one or two coins but um, either way um, I don't know if that, that that obviously I don't think speaks of a shortage maybe a shortage in Toronto but it's interesting that the precious metals market at least here in Toronto is running strong and there's lots of people buying lots of silver right now so Thought that was interesting. So there's a couple more ounces for the stack as well. Um, it was such such a generous gesture that they went all the way up there and picked these coins up for me. So um, I hope you're continuing to enjoy your weekend, and uh, I will see you in the next video.